Hello, I'm Allison, deputy of Moon Willow Tai Chi, and I want to show you a few exercises for your hands and fingers, whether you have arthritis or carpal tunnel syndrome or even trigger fingers. So I've got some exercises that might be helpful for you. The first thing we're going to do is very simply make firm fists to squeeze those fists, really squeeze them and spread the fingers out as wide as you can. Squeeze and spread. Squeeze and spread. Squeeze and spread. Squeeze and spread. Just really spread them out and really squeeze them. Contracting, expanding. And this brings circulation into the hands, into the joints. Let's do one more. Okay, next we're going to flick rapidly. Rapid flicking. This brings more energy, more circulation into the hands, into the joints, into the ligaments, warming everything up. All right, and then relax. Now feel that tingling sensation, really tingling right now. Now we're gonna do a simple touch and up, touch and up, touch and up. So each finger touches the thumb and comes right back up. Try to make a round shape, not a flat shape, but a round shape and come right back up, down and up, down and up, down and up. So just flick them right up and you're gonna feel that all the way down to your elbows. These are great exercises to do, each finger taking its turn, touching the thumb, coming right back up. Very good. Making a round shape. You feel that after a while. Very good. Okay, now shake them out. Next, we've got some thumb stretches. So we're gonna lift the thumbs up as high as you can, really stretch them up and then down again. Stretch them up as far as you can and then down, up, and down, up, and down. Very good. Feel that stretch. Like the hitchhiker thumb, right? So stretch it and down. Very good. Next, we're going to touch under the pinky. So really try to touch under that pinky pad there and then back up. Down and up, down and up, down and up. Do the best you can do with the range of motion you have. Down and up, down and up. Very good. Two more. And shake them out. Okay, this next one's called the water pump exercise. It's a multitasking exercise. We're gonna take our hand and turn the fingers on the leg. So you place your fingers on the leg. The other hand is going to press the fingers flat against the leg. Be careful you don't press here on this part of the hand. You're only pressing the fingers down right up to the knuckles. So you press that down firmly and you lift your hand up. So try to flex your hand up. It's great for flexibility too. You might pop a knuckle or two here and then go down, wrap around the edge of the leg here and come up again. Down and up, down and up down and up. So you're gonna work the knuckles, work the wrist. You're also getting a lymphatic pump under the arm as you do this, as you work this one. Water pump exercise. And it looks like one of those old water pumps. So keep pumping, maybe again, pop a knuckle or two. It's just little nitrogen bubbles releasing from the joints. No worries. Really helps again, your flexibility here. Now, if you've got trigger fingers, this is a good stretch. You lift up and hold for a good 15 to 20 seconds. And then down again. So you can do that a number of times. So that lift and hold 15 to 20 seconds and go down. So there's really good stretches. Arthritis, trigger fingers. Very good. Two more. And relax, shake that hand out. Now the other hand, fingers on the leg, press fingers firmly against the leg, wrap your palm on the outside and then lift up. Down and up, down and up, down and up. Really feel that bend at the knuckles, the wrist, and get that lymphatic pump under the arm. Down and up, down and up, water pump exercise. Very good. So again, if you have trigger fingers, lift and hold for 15 to 20 seconds. All right. That wasn't 15 to 20 seconds, but if you do, this is something you can do. It's an alternative little addition to this movement. If you've got trigger fingers, great stretch. Very good. Water pump exercise. 
Let's do two more. All right, and relax. Okay, now next one. This one is a little bit of a challenge and we're going to have our palms facing down. You wanna spread your fingers out and keep your wrist still and the arms still. We wanna isolate and rotate only the pinkies, only the pinkies. Not so easy, just do the best you can. Some people can only get up and down, not round and round, but do the best you can do. The effort counts. <laughs> and now let's reverse it. Go one direction, now go the other direction, just the pinkies. Now this is cheating. If you're doing this from your wrist, that's cheating. So you gotta keep your wrist still. Now the ring fingers only, only your ring fingers. Oh, sure. That's not easy, Allison. They're pretty connected between the other two fingers. And reverse, just the ring fingers. Again, do the best you can do. This is a challenge, like I said. Very good. And then the middle fingers rotate. Very good. Reverse. And then the index fingers or the pointer finger. Reverse. All right, and the thumbs, rotate those thumbs. Those are the easy ones, <laughs> the easiest, right? And reverse. Very good. And relax. All right. Ooh, now, next one. This is called finger rolling. So we're going to start with one hand at a time. And you want to roll in one finger at a time. Don't worry about the thumb, just the fingers. And then unroll one at a time. Now start on the other end. Roll one in at a time. Unroll one at a time. And keep changing which end you start with. Rolling one in at a time. Unroll one at a time. So again, I have my hand flattened out. Very good. We'll do that several times. All right, now try the other hand. Now the other hand, roll one finger in at a time, unroll one finger at a time. Roll one in at a time, unroll one at a time. Very good. Alternating signs you start with. You do that several times. Warm that hand up. You're going to feel all the joints working in here. All those little muscles. Very good. Now the challenge is you bring your elbows together, your wrists together, and your pinky tips together. You have your hands flattened out like you're holding a pie. And we're going to start on one end and try to roll across both hands and then unroll. Now the other side, roll in one at a time, unroll one at a time. I know, not so easy. Do the best you can do. Sometimes these fingers have a mind of their own, right? Seems like it. All right, you're working your brain too on this. Eye hand coordination here. All right, very good. Unroll, rolling in, rolling out. So again, that's the challenge. Take as much time as you need. You can go a lot slower and that's okay. You can go a lot slower and work that out. Okay, so do the best you can do and you can work up to a little faster. But that's more advanced, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, and relax. So it's finger rolling. Another one we have is called Eagle Claw, and this is good for arthritis and carpal tunnel. And we start with our fists at the sides, and we inhale, bring one fist to the shoulder, exhale, turn and stretch the arms straight up, as straight up as you can, then inhale down to the shoulder, then exhale forward and spread the fingers out. So push your arms straight ahead, spread your fingers out as wide as you can. 
and inhale, bring your hand back to the shoulder and exhale to the side. Again, straight arm, flex the fingers out five times. Get your full extension on each flex. Look at the hand that's flexing. Really spread those fingers out and then bring that down. So five times. Now the other side, inhale, fist to shoulder. Exhale, turn and stretch straight up. Inhale down to the shoulder and exhale forward, straight ahead, forward, straight arm. Oh, those fingers are really flexed out, spread out. And then inhale back, exhale out to the side, flex five times, spread your fingers all the way out and really flex them back. So that's what's really good for the carpal tunnel. So you don't wanna be doing this, that's cheating. So you wanna to try to flex back as wide as you can or as, as far as you can and flex as wide as you can. Bring that hand down, the other up, inhale. Exhale, turn, stretch straight out. Eagle claw, it's called. Inhale, exhale forward and spread fingers, really stretch them out. Inhale back, exhale to the side, flex five times, spread all the way out. Really full extension. Inhale, exhale, stretch. Inhale down. Exhale forward, spread the fingers. Inhale, exhale, side flex five times. That full stretch on each flex. That down, the other up. Inhale, we'll do one more each side. Exhale, you can do as many reps as you need. Inhale, exhale forward, spread fingers, stretch them out. Inhale. Exhale, side, flex five times. Very good, inhale, exhale, stretch. Inhale down, exhale forward, spread the fingers. Inhale, exhale, side, flex five times. Very good, and a finishing breath, inhale. Exhale down the center and relax. So those are just a few hand and finger exercises we do. I do a lot more exercises in my chair Tai Chi classes. So if you wanna join my chair Tai Chi classes, you'll find a lot more exercises for the hands, fingers, and everything else. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time. This with the right hand, cover with the left, that sun and moon together. Have a beautiful day.